straight from New Orleans to the Boggy Bayou, Chef Bernie. Yeah, you I'm Chef Bernie, and welcome to my cooking experience. We have just finished filming season two of my Chef Ernie's cooking experience, and as you can see, it's a lot of fun for our live audience and the folks viewing at home. Oh, man. Each and every one of you is going to get this, and we're going to bring it to you flaming on fire. So, folks, please be careful. You know, don't move your dish around too much, and make sure you blow it out before you eat it, all right? Okay? There we go. Look, we got to go. Aye! Aye! And guys, look at that. Here we go. Dockside Cafe's Girl Scouts helping me out. Jambalaya pasta, baby. Come on now. Aye! Fred Robbins. Fred Robbins played on the 2008 Super Bowl team for the New York Giants. How you like that? Let's hear it for Fred. That's a big boy, right? Huh? <laughs> And I figured I'd bring Fred here tonight, because Fred, if it's okay with you, you're going to be our official tester and taster tonight. Because I figure, little Fred, big boy like this, nobody's going to argue with him if he says it tastes good, right? That's right. Hey, look, this will be hanging proudly in my sports bar. Fred Robbins signed it. Man, thank you so much, Fred. Forged in fire. Come on. Forged in fire. I watch it a lot of times. And it's really neat. Brandon's been on there several times, right, Brandon? Yes, sir. Look at that, guys, huh? And I love it. It's like perfect for my grip, man. That's fantastic. Yeah. Why don't I put this thing to the test with our first course, Brandon? I've been dying to slice some bread with it. Ooh, you saw that? Was that my finger? No. You see that? That was crazy, right? You know, it's funny because my grandfather was very Cajun French, and he used to say all kind of wonderful slangs, and his favorite one was, eh, la ba, which means, hey, over there. <laughs> so that's how we do that. I cook a four course meal right before your eyes while showing you all the tips and family secrets I've learned over the years of cooking, baby. And then you want to flip this over like so. You see what I'm saying? Like so. And that way when you fry it, there is no opening side. And you roll it straight like so. And it's a little bit difficult to do it. But you roll it straight and you keep them in. And you keep them in. You roll it like so. Okay? And then you put a little bit of egg wash right here and then you roll it over and you see how nice and straight and even that is guys that looks great right and you see most people most people would roll it like you do silverware on an angle flip the corners over and roll it but if you do that when you put it in the hot grease it has a better chance of busting open from the sides when you roll it like this there's no opening on either side and it stays nice straight and perfect first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna saute some onions in here oh you gotta have a little onion Onion, as my grandpa used to say, the Cajun way. Hey, Matt Willingham, you know what an onion is? It's just like an onion, baby, that's all. But it's got a little Cajun on it, that's it. Ha <laughs> ha! And look at this beautiful oyster we have right here. And I wanted to show you, like, a lot of people, they have problems with these oyster knives. They hold them like this, they hold them like this, and they cut their hands, and people injure themselves really badly. Well, <laughs> Matt's laughing over there, he's been there. But what you do is, and it's a little tip, is you hold the oyster knife like this, you hold it in your hand, and you use your index finger as leverage. And you see how strong that is on that table right there? Now, if you held it like that, it's not that strong, right? But that's what you want. You want leverage. And what you do is you just find the spot. And once you find the spot, it's one action. Pow! You see, I popped it in one shot. Did you hear that? I popped it in one shot. And then you just go like that. Pow, baby! I have taken this show off location to the people, whether competing in the annual gumbo cook-off. I met these beautiful ladies from Alabama, right? Right! Oh, yeah, y'all having fun? Yeah! How's it going? Oh, man, look, this is what it's all about, folks. It's a wonderful day. We've just got a great call. We're having a good time. And you know what I say all the time? Aye! 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 To cooking at the Florida Restaurant and Lodging Association trade show, or even going on many numerous hooking and cooking adventures with local captains, catching fish and bringing it right back to the restaurant and cooking it up for them, baby. We have had great success working with numerous sponsors promoting their products and services in our show over the last two years, as well as being the face of Gulf Power's electric cooking campaign. Take a look. You know what I'm gonna do today, guys? I'm gonna put this kitchen to the test. 
This heat induction equipment doesn't get hot at the surface. Gosh, you can put your hand on it. Look at that. Does it burn? Crazy. How safe is that? Well, folks, as you can see, it definitely passed the test. And if you're as interested in heat induction equipment as I am, go to golfpower.com. They got all the information and details for you, baby. I'll see you there. Aye. I also have made the first ever interactive video cookbook. This book has over 50 videos. Simply scan your smartphone or tablet on the QR codes, and we are on our way to cooking the dishes together, baby. Aye. And my big trademark is I, baby. It means, yay, very excited in Cajun French. Watch how excited I get people with it, baby. Can I get an I? Let me hear you say I. Come on now. There we go, there we go. I. I end every show by turning the cameras around and giving the audience a chance to second line with me, Chef Ernie. That leaves them on a high note, one and more, baby. Where I come from, Fred, when we have a good time like this, with this kind of music, we're gonna end it with a New Orleans second line, baby. Y'all want a second line? Yeah! Let's see what Oh yeah! Hey, Lava!